Voice AI phone agents aren't just for phone calls. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom voice AI agent from scratch and how to embed it on your website. And the good news is that it's something that's relatively easy to do, and I'm going to take you through it step by step. I'm Deck. I'm very British. I don't know why I just said that. But welcome to the channel. Make yourself at home. I've spent nine years working in automation and AI. And so on this channel, we're looking at ways you can elevate the customer experience with automation and AI tech. So I'm going to start by showing you how to create one of these voice AI agents using some software called Vapi. Next, I'll show you how to actually add the widget to your website, and then I'll show you a demo of it all in action. If you want to skip ahead to the sections relevant to you, feel free using the bits below. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing you do is open up Vapi. If you haven't created an account already, um, create one. Uh, you click on Create Assistant. And for this one, we're going to go with a blank template. So you click blank template here, press continue. We're going to name this assistant George and then press create. That gives us here an assistant called George. And as you can see, because we selected blank, we've got a blank assistant. And with that created, we then go across here and um, we want to create a put in our first message. That's the opening message that our agent will say. And we also need to add the system prompt. So I've already done an in-depth guide to VAPI, which should be linked up here, which takes you through all of the different sections of this step by step and in that video I showed you how to create a, um, a voice agent that would qualify a lead or an opportunity for me and collect some basic information and so if you what I'm going to do is just use that prompt that is um, available on my website so there'll be a link for that down in the description if we go over here you can see this is the prompt so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this first message over here copy that and then we're going to paste that into the first message section here in VAPI um, and then go down and we're going to take all of this. So the role, task, specifics, context um, and notes, take all of that and copy it and then put that into the website as well. So we've got all of that down here and then we're going to click publish. So we've now got a voice agent which is able to have a conversation with somebody, find out about an automation or any kind of project that they've got in mind, collect some information and then if it makes sense, uh, decide to schedule a call with them. So that's pretty powerful. Um, what we need to do is at the moment it's, it's using 3.5 Turbo Cluster. So I'm actually going to put that up to four. So we're using a slightly more advanced GPT. Um, and as you can see over here, that increases the cost very slightly and it also increases the latency. So it's going to be slightly slower and slightly more expensive, but I actually think it's worth it for this one. So we've increased um, it to four. We're going to keep the provider as OpenAI. We have obviously got different options, but we're going to stick with OpenAI. The temperature, that determines how random the, the voice agent is as such. So the way I always think of this is if it's a cold agent, if you reduce the temperature, make it colder, it becomes quite matter of fact. Whereas if you make it warmer, it becomes a bit more free-spirited and, and kind of, I always think of like a cold accountant or quite a warm free-spirited hippie. That's how I remember it. But we're, for this one, we're going to leave it how it is. Um, and we've also obviously got detect emotion. So that's if someone's getting quite annoyed or frustrated, it can actually put, detect that and, and then potentially kind of put you through to a, a, a real human. We're not going to use that in this example. So as you can see, we've obviously gone through and I've got the role. So I've saying you're a voice assistant working with Declan Kirk. And I've given it a task. Uh, and I've also got, gone through what's known as chain of thought prompting. Prompt engineering is really, really important. If you're not familiar with the basics, I actually made a video, which again, linked up here. Um, but it's really important for any of your AI builds that you have a good grasp of what prompt engineering is. But anyway, this is chain of thought prompting. Um, so it's kind of taking it through step by step what we wanted it to do. Um, and then we've and then we've got the context as well. So I've given it a script, an example script for it to follow. Um, and then just a few notes at the end as well. So we've got all of that there, which is good. Let's just change it though. What, what I'm going to do is change this first message. So they're obviously, because this is going to be on, put on a website, they're not calling the number. Um, let's put, am I right in thinking you have a project? That makes a bit more sense. So am I right in thinking you have a project where you could be interested in working with Declan? Can I start with taking your name? Brilliant. Click publish. We've now changed that opening message. Now we've done that. Let's go over to click over to voice and we're going to change the voice. We want to stick with 11 labs. But obviously we called our assistant George, so let's try, let's go with James, I think. Um, so, we, so we click publish there. And we've now got James um, selected as our voice. Jolly good. We're going to keep all of that the same. And that's pretty much good to go. Now, if you're actually thinking about using this in your business and you want to schedule a call with me just to kind of share some thoughts or get some insight, 
and will potentially even consider working with me and uh, there's a link down below where you can schedule a call okay so we've set the voice and we've got our prompt now it's time to actually embed this into our website so what you need to do is go over to the client sdk's web snippet section uh, there'll actually be a link for that down in the description below um, but just bear in mind, I don't know, the Vapi website might change. So depending on when you're watching this, if you need to, Google Client SDK Web Snippet and, and you should be able to find what you need, need to. But as you can see on the screen here, when you click that link or, or you Google it, you'll be given this first here, which is insert the widget snippet. So what we're going to do is insert a widget, a Vapi widget onto our website. So we copy this code here, this HTML, and then we go across to our website. Now I'm, I use Framer for mine so i'm going to open up framer um, but it would work with lots of different ones depending on what you use and i'm going to put it here under end of head so what you do is you paste it in here which is our first step so we've got it in um, but there's two bits that we need to add we need to add our assistant id and also your public api key so the first one is the assistant id so to do that we go back over to vapi which is here and we go across to our dash uh, we go into our dashboard and you should be able to see up here at the top you can copy your assistant id so you copy that assistant ID, come back, and what you need to do is delete everything inside of the speech mark. So you delete all of that and you paste in the age, uh, the assistant ID. So we've got that. We then need to go back to Vapi. And we click down here in this bottom left hand corner and you go to API keys. Now they could change that. I know Vapi um, changed uh, their layout every so often, but effectively you need to find wherever your API keys are and you take your public key. So you copy the public key and then go back. And what you do is you paste it in here in between the two exclamation marks, press paste. And we've got it in there. So we've got our assistant ID and our API key. And that's it, simple as that. So what we need to then do is so in Framer, you then save. So we've now saved our code. Then you press publish, click update. And now if we go back to the website we go to my home page you can see that down here in the center we've now got a telephone uh, button where you can actually talk to your system now i'm not going to leave this live on my website because it had there's a fee set associated with every every time somebody speaks with there however if you're actually interested in using this technology feel free to reach out and schedule a call with me and i can show you this in action and be more than happy to do so but let's take a look and see this in action so you click here and let's have a conversation with george hello this is george I'm Declan Kirk's AI virtual assistant. Am I right in thinking you have a project where you could be interested in working with Declan? Can I start by taking your name? Uh, yes, you are, and my name is Deck. Nice to meet you, Deck. How can I help you today? Are you looking to improve a specific aspect of your business with AI? I am indeed looking to in improve a specific aspect of my business with AI. Um, I'm basically actually thinking around setting up a voice agent on my website. Is that something you could help with? Sounds like a great project. We can definitely help with setting up a voice agent on your website. It could really enhance customer interactions. What do you think the business impact would be if you had this voice agent in place? I'm not too sure. Have you got any ideas about that? Absolutely. Having a voice agent on your website can significantly improve customer engagement, reduce response times, and provide a more personalized experience. It can also free up your team to handle more complex tasks, ultimately leading to increased customer satisfaction and potentially higher sales. Does that sound like something that would benefit your business? Well, it sounds brilliant, to be honest. Great to hear. Let's get you scheduled for a consultation with Declan so we can dive deeper into your project. What date and time would work best for you? All right. We have availability from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Okay, could I actually go for 6 a.m. on Thursday? I'm sorry, but our earliest availability is from 9 a.m. Would you be able to do a time between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m.? Yeah, let's go for 3.30 on Thursday then, please, if that's okay. Absolutely. 3.30 p.m. on Thursday works. Can I have your name and email to confirm the appointment with Declan? If you want to get to grips with everything that you need to know with Voice AI, then I highly recommend you watch my beginner's guide to Voice AI here. Thanks, and I'll see you there. Peace!